Today we will solve problem number 1232. It's called is it a straight line? So here you will be given uh, a vector of coordinates and these are 2D coordinates in plane space, 2D space. And these will denote the X and Y coordinates of the points. And you have to find whether all the points are collinear or not. That is they lie on the same line or not. So just a reminder for those uh, of you who, who may not be remembering, the equation of a line can be written as y equal to mx plus c. So here y is the y coordinate, x is the x coordinate, m is the slope, and c is some constant. If the line passes through origin, then this constant will be zero. Uh, so let's see. So here uh, the slope will be, you take any two points on a line and you subtract their y coordinates, that is, let's take 2, 3 and 3, 4. So these are the y coordinates. So if you subtract these, let's call it P1. This is P2. So slope, or I will write it M, the standard notation, uh, will be y2, which is this minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So y2 is 4, y1 is 3, this value. Second uh, second value in this coordinate denotes the y coordinate. And now first denotes the x. So x2 is 3 minus 2, which is 1 over 1, 1. You pick any two points. You pick uh, 6, 7 and uh, 2, 3. So you see uh, this 3 minus 7 is minus 4 and 2 minus 6 is minus 4. Again it's 1. So you pick any pair of points on these two and you will always get a slope of 1. So that is how we can check if all the points lie on a slope or not. Uh, so it's very straightforward, just this formula. First calculate the slope of the line. So you will be given a vector of coordinates. So in this case 5. So you are given P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. This is our example. And uh, lead code has mentioned that you are given at least two points. So even you don't need to worry about the base case where there are less than two points. And uh, with less than two points, you cannot form a line. A single point cannot form a line. So it's given. So safely assume that. So first calculate the slope of the line. If the points lie on the line at all, then uh, we will need the slope for that. So first you calculate P2 minus P1. Slope using this P2 dot Y minus P1 dot Y divided by P2 dot X minus P1 dot X. And here each point each point will denote itself a 2D vector. So it will have two indices, 0, 1. So you can access that using that. So once you calculate the slope using these two, so you, so you know that this is the slope. Now what you will check, you will start for remaining points. And you will see whether P3, P1, P2 you have seen, P3 dot Y minus P3 dot minus P1 dot Y divided by P3 dot X minus P1 dot X is equal to this M that you calculated earlier or not. And this will be same for any two pair of points. Here we took P1 and P2 and here we took uh, this is P2, this is P5. Let me call it in this order, P1, P2, P3, P4, P5. Pick any two points and calculate the slope. It will be same everywhere. So what is our approach? We calculate slope using first two points. And then with respect to first point, we see the slope of all of these. So first we take P1, P2. We get some slope. Then we take P1, P3, then P1, P4, then P1, P5. 
So all of these uh, make the same flow with P1. So all of them lie on the same line. Apart from that, there can be one special case uh, where uh, the line is perfectly vertical. So in this case, the slope is infinity. So if you draw the Cartesian coordinates, X and Y, uh, let's take two points on this. So X coordinates are same for all the, all the points lying on this line. So this denominator will become zero. So this uh, slope is said to be infinity. And if a line is straight parallel to X axis, then Y coordinates are all same. So numerator becomes zero and denominator will be positive. So this case slope is zero. So these cases may not be there, but if uh, some infinite case occurs, then you see that this here we will be dividing by zero. So for that case, we can take a very large number outside the range of the values of X and Y. So some range will be given for X and Y. So we can take uh, 10, 10 times or 100 times more than that limit. So in our implementation, we will take a default value, a very large value for this case. For this case, we don't need to worry about this formula will work. So let's begin. First, I will write the code in C++, then modify it for Java and Python. And uh, this is the problem. And here you are given a list of uh, vectors of size 2, x and y. And there are some constraints. The coordinate length is at least 2. So you can find a line with two points. And also the range of coordinates are given. These values are all integer. The coordinates are integer, not floating point. And the range is from minus 10,000 to plus 10,000. So what is the maximum slope you can get? A numerator can be as big as two times this, so 20,000. Denominator minimum value can be one. It can be zero, but we will handle that case separately. So let's take other cases when the slope is not infinite, the maximum slope can be 20,000. So we can take any value greater than 20,000 and that will serve the purpose of infinity for us. So let's begin. Let's define a function for slope. And slope can be floating point since we will divide two integers. P1, which is first point, and then we have P2, second point. Each will have just two values. So if P1, 0, is equal to P2, 0, that is their x coordinates are same. Uh, So x coordinates are same, then we return infinity. So we return some big value. Oh, let's call it uh, 100,000. Else we return. Let's cast it to float. y of second point minus y of first point divided by x of first point minus x of second point. You should be careful while writing 0 and 1 values because the meaning will change completely. 1 denotes y coordinate, 0 denotes x coordinate. So this is the slope. And in case of infinity, we return a very large value outside this range, the maximum slope possible here. And then here we write float slope equal to get slope coordinates zero, coordinates one. 
So we have calculated slope using point one and two, then we, we will iterate the same for other points. Uh, let's calculate the slope. Float m equal to get slope. And we pass coordinates i, ith point and first point. If m not equal to slope, return false. If we did not encounter this for all the points, we reach the end, we return true. And let's try it. So this works for this case. Let's submit. And the solution is accepted. So what I will do, I will copy it for Java as well. And here instead of vector, it will be int array. Let's see. Uh, looks like this length. Mm -hmm. So this works for this case. Let's go ahead and submit. And Java solution is accepted as well. So finally, we will write it in Python 3. For i in range 2 till length of coordinates Let's see. And this works, so let's submit. And the solution is accepted in Python as well. So hope you understood this problem. It was very simple. If you knew the equation of line, then it was even simpler. Here, the only thing you need to make sure is that uh, the slope of all the lines, all the points are same with respect to any reference point. Then all of them will lie along a straight line.